Of course, the what many scholars call the given name of the Quran is Quran. Now, what does the word Quran mean? Where does it come from exactly? And what does it refer to? What does it, what does it allude to in its etymology and its origins? So the word Quran, there are a couple of different discussions and theories about exactly the name itself. So some scholars are of the opinion, majority of the scholars are actually of the opinion that the word Quran comes from Qara'a, which means to read something. And Quran is that which is read. Not only that which is read, but that which is read excessively, abundantly, repeatedly over and over again and, and with a great sense of importance another theory on the name of the Quran that's a minority theory and that is that the word Quran actually comes from the root word which refers to two things being joined together like Qareen refers to a very very close friend and so Quran some scholars have theorized also at some level refers to the fact that the Quran is the companion for each and every single believer that you never leave home without it that you constantly have it with you all the time and then some scholars have even gone as far as saying that the word Quran while it can maybe have an element of all these different words to it but ultimately it is not a derivative of any other root word it is the actual unique given name of the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and the word the Quran is called the Quran within the Quran itself 73 different places in the Quran and the one that I'll share with you here today for a little bit of thought and reflection is very appropriately Allah says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ Quran." Do they not reflect and contemplate and think very deeply, ponder upon the Quran? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling on us and challenging us, not one but multiple places, multiple places in the Quran, and that is think about the Quran, reflect on the Quran, understand it, ponder upon it, and let it change your life.